Dip is an organic compound. Can you tell me which elements are present in it? This can be done by systematic qualitative analysis. Let's find how. It is systematic identification and confirmation of an unknown organic compound. Follow these steps. Preliminary test, elemental analysis that is Lessig's test, functional group detection, derivative preparation and physical constant determination. Organic compounds mostly contain carbon and hydrogen. Apart from it, it may contain nitrogen, sulfur, halogens. Ionic tests of inorganic analysis can be used for detection of elements. But these tests are applicable to water-soluble and ionizable compounds only. As we know, organic compounds are non-ionic in nature. So these tests cannot be applied for organic compounds. But if we could convert organic compounds in water-soluble ionizable form, then these tests can be applied to organic compounds and the elements can be detected. Conversion of organic non-ionic compounds to ionic form is possible in several ways. But the best way is to fuse the organic compound with metallic sodium. Based on this fact, Scientist J. L. Lassane developed a test known as Lassane's test for detection of nitrogen, sulfur and halogen in organic compounds. Let's learn the procedure of Lassane's test. First, heat sodium and substance in a fusion tube till all fumes cease to be evolved and the fusion tube becomes red hot. Then plunge this fusion tube in 10 to 15 ml of distilled water. Then boil the contents of the evaporating dish and filter the lessons extract while it is hot. This extract is also known as sodium fusion extract. The non-ionic water insoluble organic compound when fused with metallic sodium forms the salts like sodium cyanide, sodium sulfide and sodium halide. Being salts, they are ionic and water soluble. So, sodium fusion extract contains the ionizable forms of the elements of original organic compound. So, let's discuss the test for nitrogen. Carbon and nitrogen from organic compound when fused with metallic sodium forms sodium cyanide. Sodium hydroxide when reacts with ferrous sulfate forms the green precipitate of ferrous hydroxide which then reacts with the sodium cyanide to form ferrous cyanide, which again reacts with sodium cyanide to form sodium ferrocyanide. This sodium ferrocyanide then reacts with ferric chloride to form ferric ferrocyanide, which is of Prussian blue color, which indicates presence of nitrogen in the organic compound. It is essential to add excess of sodium in the process because if nitrogen and sulfur both are present, then instead of sodium cyanide, they form sodium thiocyanide. And it reacts with ferric chloride to form blood red coloration instead of Prussian blue color. So, better to add excess of sodium. Now the test for sulfur. Sulfur from organic compound reacts with sodium to form sodium sulfide which when reacts with sodium nitroprusside forms a complex which is of purple color and indicates the presence of sulfur in organic compound. Now coming to halogens. The halide salts when treated with silver nitrate produce the corresponding precipitates which indicate the presence of particular halogen atom in the given organic compound. This is how all the atoms can be detected from the given organic compounds using Lessons test. Students and friends, if you found this video interesting, do give it a big thumbs up which can encourage me to make more such videos. And stay tuned for more such videos. Subscribe to my channel and don't forget to share. Thank you.